Okay, here we're asked to solve and graph the solution set for a linear inequality. Now, we're also going to express our answer in interval notation. The first step here is to subtract 11 on both sides. The idea is we want to isolate x by itself. Now, remember, whenever you divide or multiply by a negative number, you have to reverse the inequality. So you can see here I'm dividing by negative 2. So I am going to reverse that inequality and say that's greater than or equal to 3. All right, so that's kind of my answer. Now let's graph these on a number line. Okay, in this particular case, this is an inclusive inequality, so I'm going to use a closed dot and shade all the numbers greater than 3. Now converting that to interval notation, I would use a square bracket, which is equivalent to the closed dot, all the way to infinity, leaving that open with a parenthesis. And so there's our infinite number of solutions to the original linear inequality in a short.